guideline, the next metaphors. Um, and I think what happened was that there was a decision made to try to have this breakthrough on, especially in agriculture and on industrial tariffs, relating to developing nations in a development round. And so services really uh, were, that, that negotiation was on the back burner. Well, I think in the last couple of years what's happened, this is my own view, in part because of a new administration, in part, not the only reason. I think there's a new realism that we're not 80% there. Certainly in the area of services, uh, we're far from there, but I think the same is true, for example, in terms of rules, uh, which have hardly been discussed. I think there's not only a new realism, but a new determination. And if I can get across any point, I want to emphasize there is an understanding among many of us of the importance of the Doha Round. I think there's an understanding that as important as bilateral discussions are, as important, for example, as the Trans-Pacific discussion is, which I favor proceeding, that there remains the, the challenge of the larger international trade structure. And if we can have a new realism and a new determination, uh, that uh, we can reinforce the importance of movement. And so, as you know, with services, and some of you may be part of this, at least informally, we now have the ambassador of meetings, and I'm sure that was, I know it was discussed uh, this, this afternoon by our ambassador, and a clustering of, uh, of these, uh, of, the, of the 24 sectors. I also think another development that's positive is our ambassador in, uh, in Geneva, who is very, very engaged. And so I, I think, in a word, um, there is going to be an expanded focus. So let me just finish by saying just a couple words, because my guess is there has been and there will continue to be more discussion about some of the FTAs, and I want to focus on Korea. Let no one um, persuade you that there isn't an understanding of the importance of the services provisions in the Korea Free Trade Agreement. They're important. Let no one uh, persuade you that, that uh, the majority of us don't want a Korea Free Trade Agreement uh, it ratified or, or approved is the correct word, under any circumstances, that's not true. But as we alerted uh, the negotiators years ago, there had to be a broad attention to outstanding issues. And you could not trade off one major issue for another major issue. We made that entirely clear and I just pose this for anybody who doubts this. If we had had an agreement that said as to services that if there were 500 offices, take any sector, uh, of Koreans here in the United States and only two or three in that sector in Korea, and that the negotiation did not basically address that discrepancy or that imbalance so that there would be a real opportunity to correct it, to correct it. I don't think uh, anybody in that service sector would say that that was a satisfactory agreement. And the problem is, in the industrial sector, that's essentially where the negotiations came out. We have a major imbalance in the industrial sector. 
like I mentioned in terms of 500 to 2, it isn't quite that imbalanced, but it's dramatically imbalanced. It has been for years, and in substantial measure, because of the restrictions that Korea has placed, both in terms of taxes, <coughs> excuse me, regulations, on our access to their industrial market. It's primarily in automotive, which is two-thirds plus of our deficit with Korea. But it's also true, for example, of refrigerators, where a major American company has been unable to sell their main refrigerator in Korea. And there is a renewed determination by our industrial sector that there has to be a, an adjustment, a change, so that trade in these key areas is a two-way street. This needs to be addressed. The beef issue needs to be resolved so there is a, an effective final resolution. But you cannot expect, in my judgment, acceptance of an agreement when there is such an immense tilt, and that tilt is two-thirds to three-quarters of a major imbalance between our two countries in terms of trade. Until recently, there was a lack of willingness on the part of the Korean government expressed directly to some of us, a, an unwillingness to sit down and even discuss it. I think that's changed. And what we need to do now is to hopefully take advantage of what is a real change to make some real changes so that in all the critical sectors affected by the U.S.-Korea Free Trade Agreement, we have a two-way street. And I just emphasize, I hope that those of you involved in the services industry will take a broad enough perspective to help <coughs> us accomplish the changes that are necessary, not perhaps directly, you won't be the negotiator, but lending support for the need to rectify these inadequacies. If that happens, the U.S. Korea Free Trade Agreement uh, can be approved. So I come here um, uh, very much um, of the belief that, um, that what you're doing is so critical, and I, can, I conclude the way I started. Uh, we should not be giving up on the Doha round. It seems so long ago, uh, but um, sometimes important, important products take a long time to, uh, to ripen. And I think uh, that's true of services. So thanks very much for inviting me. I've enjoyed the opportunity.